welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean if you guys are new here. Today is a full on more old school YouTube makeup tutorial. I am showing you this gorgeous pinky inspired look with lots of bold black eyeliner which normally I stray away from but when I created this look the other week in my bathroom just like really getting into the makeup and having a good day with it this is how it turned out and the black liner was just everything to me before we get into the tutorial though if you guys are not subscribed to my channel definitely click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any videos from me I try to post makeup videos every Monday as well as other fashion content vlogs things like that throughout the week you can you can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, things like that with the tag at Emily Jean Beauty. And yeah, I think those are all the little announcements. If you guys want to learn how to get this gorgeous pinky, like sultry, dark liner, but natural look, then just keep watching. Hello guys, we are starting with a fresh face, a little bit of coffee, and getting right into primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer and applying this all over my face, definitely focusing on the T-zone area and where I have larger pores. Now taking my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper and applying this to my lips so it can set in while we do our makeup. Clipping my hair back and zooming in for our face. So I'm going in with foundation. This is the Dior Forever Skin Foundation. I did a full Makeup Monday on this, so I'll link it up at the top if you want to watch that. But I am dotting this all over my face. Definitely using a heavier hand today because it is a full glam look, I would say. So I'm blending this out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This is my favorite sponge to blend my wet products. And I'm definitely taking my time here to cover every inch of my face and make sure it's all blended down the neck as well. Then we are going into concealer. This is the same um, concealer matching with the foundation, the Dior Forever Skin Concealer. And I'm going to apply this under my eyes, a little bit on the chin, the cupid's bow, and in between the brows, basically the T-zone area. You can see this is a lighter shade, so this is going to brighten up the center of our face as well as under our eyes. More coffee and blend, 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 blend. Now to set the concealer and foundation, I'm going in with the Cody Airspun Powder. Here I'm tapping out my creases really quickly, then dipping directly into the powder, then setting under my eyes. So I like to work quickly because you never want to set creases, so you want to make sure those are all nice and blended out before you set them down. Now I'm setting my chin and my eyelids, then going in with a big fluffy brush and the same powder and just kind of going over my full face and neck to lightly set all those other areas as well. Okay, going on to contour, I'm taking my Park Ave Princess palette from Tarte and taking those two middle shades and I'm starting to sculpt out the face. I really sculpt and add a lot of bronzer to this look. This is pretty heavy on the face if I'm being honest with you, but I love a full glam look as long as you take the time to blend it all out. So here I'm contouring my nose, just running that same brush along the sides of my nose and under my lip for a little pouty look. And now I'm contouring the sides of my forehead and temples. I like to really buff this in and then connect it to our jawline or cheek contour so it's all nice and uniform and blend Blended in. Now I'm taking a little bit more for under my chin and jawline. This is definitely key and sculpts your face. Okay, these are my two new favorite products. If you don't have that contour palette, you can use this e.l.f. contour. They have different shades, but I'm going in with the e.l.f. blush. These are their like primer infused blush and contour shades. And here you can see I'm going very heavy on the blush, really getting it on those apples of the cheeks and then blending it upward with the contour. Then of course, applying it on my nose, on my chin. I even bring some up to the forehead. I love to really just mesh all my face products together. So you wanna stay focused, but still trying to blend and create that beautiful palette. Now I'm going back in with the chisel palette from Tarte and taking the lighter shades, I love these colors in this palette, to really brighten up underneath the contour. It honestly just like cleans up the makeup and now I'm actually setting my forehead a little bit more. I do have a problem area there with shininess. Now we're going in with some highlighter. I'm taking this Laura Mercier highlighter. It is beautiful, highlighting my nose, chin, cheeks. You guys know the drill little bit on the cupid's bow and the face is done 
Okay, moving on to our eyes, I'm using my Mario Matte Palette and starting with taking that cream shade all over the eyelid, now taking these two transitional brown shades and I'm going to be working these into my crease just with an oversized, nice fluffy brush. This honestly just takes time, not too much skill here. You just want to get that color all in the crease from inner to outer corner. Just like that, back and forth, windshield wiper motions. That's actually just a clean brush and I'm cleaning up around my eyebrows. Okay, now taking my Tati Beauty palette and taking this beautiful pink cranberry shade. This is the star of the show. It's the only shade I use from the palette. And I'm just lightly washing this in the crease as well. Now cleaning up on my eyebrow again and then back with the color. You just want to go back and forth, really blend it out and build the color up over time. Here I'm taking a flatter fluffy brush and just adding a little bit extra color on the outer corner for some dimension, shaping the eye, then going back and blending out. So going back and forth from cleaning the eye and blending the color. Now going in with a little smudger brush and going on the lower lash line, that same pink shade, it's the only color I use from the palette, so feel free to find a color that you like in your collection. I will link some solo or single shadows below for you guys to check out because I know the Tati palette is kind of outrageous to get right now. Um, okay, here I'm just gelling down my brows because I actually had them tinted at Ulta. I always get my brows waxed and tinted there, so all I needed was gel that day. Now I'm taking my liquid liner. This is one from L'Oreal. I honestly love this liner. It's such a great felt tip and it stays all day, doesn't smudge, doesn't budge. Here you can see I'm just creating a nice thin black line. We're not doing a wing or anything, so you just wanna really round it out to your natural eye shape. And I like to kinda lay the brush flat as you can see to create that line. Now I'm taking a just retractable black eyeliner. This one I got in a FabFitFun box, um, but one of my favorite ones is by MAC, so I will have that linked down below. I'm just applying this lightly into my waterline. You wanna try and be a little bit sparing with the liner, but I think it looks beautiful. Cleaning up a little bit of mistakes. Now curling my eyelashes and using one of my new favorite mascaras from e.l.f. I am curling both sides first, doing a little pulsing and applying mascara like normal. I just really pack this on heavy, do some big coats. This look would be gorgeous with some false lashes, but I did not do that for this time. Um, but yeah, this mascara is great if you guys are looking for a drugstore option or something new. I'm applying this on top and on my bottom lashes. Voila, the eyes are done. Okay, moving on to lips. I'm now taking my Mario lip palette. This thing is amazing. You can see I'm mixing a few colors on the little tray in there to get a nice kind of rosy pink color. I'm adding some of the white to lighten it up and there's the perfect shade. I'm applying this with the brush that actually comes in the kit. So you guys stay tuned. I have a bunch of other Mario palettes. Next week's Makeup Monday is going to be testing and using all of those Mario products. So I know it's kind of a little sneak peek in this video and I've been using them for a little bit now. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of a darker red from the palette just to kind of add that dimension. That's why I love this Mario palette because you can play with so many different colors. And that wraps up this look. I'm going to set the face using my Morphe Dewy Setting Spray and we're done. Okay, you guys, that completes this beautiful pink eyed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial being a voiceover style. It was definitely more fun for me to really get into the makeup and work with my makeup on camera and be able to teach you through a voiceover. I'm so obsessed with this look. It's actually very, very easy and attainable. Um, you can really use any type of colors and it's just adding that like splash of color on the eyes, cheeks and lips all under the same umbrella and I think it is such a beautiful look. I think the pink shadow also really complements the dark, more bold black eyeliner, which normally I would be more scared of, but with the pinks and the more smoky look, I honestly love the bold black liners. As always, all the products that I used will be linked down below for you so it's easy to shop. I know some products in here are either not sold anymore or just very specific, so I will try to link similar products down below that you can use to fully recreate this look. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos this week and I'll see you guys in my next one.
拜。